everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am doing something that I've never done before. So today I am doing the anti-haul. This sounds a bit like extreme but basically I wanted to do a video all about clothes in my wardrobe that I love, staple pieces and all that kind of thing. As we know at the moment fast fashion is such a contributor to global warming. Fast fashion is just one of the top. I don't know if you guys have seen Stacey Dooley's documentary on it but literally like it is up there and it's ridiculous. I have to admit I struggle with <sighs> Like, fast fashion is the side of things that I am finding the hardest to be more eco with. I love cheap clothes and the fact that I can get them quick. It's bad, I know. I was chatting to my friend Amber. I've done a photo shoot with her she's like really really talented photographer so go and check it out we met up when i was in london we were kind of talking about like fast fashion and she was talking about people she follows who wear the same staple pieces and it kind of got me thinking because i'm the kind of person that i will buy clothes for an event like a birthday or parties or whatever and then some things like i bought something for my birthday last year i haven't worn it since and it's just really bad basically i'm celebrating <laughs> celebrating my birthday 16 days late at the weekend and i was looking around for things to get because i was like it's my birthday i'm gonna get something to wear and i thought you know what like i'm gonna wear something that i have worn before and that's okay so i'm basically wearing i'm going to be talking about it basically wearing something that i wore for my birthday two years ago i think we need to make it cool to be an outfit repeater it was a whole thing where it was like was it in zoe 101 i can't remember i was like you're an outfit repeater I just, oh, lizzie mcguire you are an outfit repeater and there's like this whole bad thing i think we need to make it a good thing to be an outfit repeater and make it cool so that's why i'm here today to talk to you about pieces in my wardrobe that i love that i always come back to every year or that i've been loving this year so i wanted to talk to you about them that's not to say i'm not ever going to do a haul again in the future it's not there to say that hauls are bad if you're gonna try and be a little bit more eco-friendly just try and shop somewhere that's a little bit more ethical if you're looking at jeans or if you're looking at anything cotton based just make sure it is ethically sourced and grown and produced. Maybe think of buying one staple piece rather than five and I'm so bad for that because I'd rather have five pieces of clothes for cheap than one but I'm learning and I'm trying to change the way that I'm thinking about things so I'm going to talk to you about my clothes. The first thing I'm talk about is the outfit I'm wearing which is this <laughs> this is a yeah okay granted it's a jumpsuit from primark and i got it last year to wear for new year and i have worn it since which is obviously good but a new year i didn't wear it with anything underneath but now i've put this black top underneath it's like a long sleeve black top from boohoo it's cropped uh, high at the neck i've talked about it in a previous haul and i wear that underneath it now just so that i can get cooler use out of it so like in the winter it's kind of difficult because it's velvet you can't really wear it when it's hot in the summer but because it's very low cut you, you kind of need something underneath i do anyway because i haven't got big boobs so my boobs kind of on the bra at least kind of falls out because it's a bit flappy on one side if you will and i also wear this black top underneath jumpsuits that i might wear in the summer i've got two that are very summery jumpsuits but if i put this underneath it i'm able to wear it in the winter as well so that's just a little tip for you there to get the most out of your wardrobe okay next item so i'm going to kind of keep with the old like wintry theme and talk about this jumper so at my old work we got given gift vouchers um for christmas and i had two that i hadn't used and they're for marks and spencers they're 10 pounds each so i went into marks and spencers and went and spent it and i'm glad i did because i got this jumper it's just this white white jumper hello um <laughs> it's just a plain white jumper it's really thick it's lovely it was like 17 pound 50 so like it's not oh it's got a stain on it that's gonna go on the wash it's got this weird like mustard i don't know why it's got that on the inside of the neckline but i guess it kind of helps if you have makeup on your neck it doesn't really show i love this jumper i literally feel like it's like my most worn jumper in the past year um you will probably recognize it from me wearing it all the time that is a staple piece i love a good quality jumper is something to have think climate wash at 30 is 100 percent cotton so we're gonna have to hope that marks and spencers are eco 
friendly. Next item, I'm gonna talk to you about some jeans. So the two pairs of jeans I'm gonna talk about, I would have three, but unfortunately, my other pair of mum jeans, the zip has broken on them. I'm really gutted because I only got them in May. I don't know whether it's worth paying to have the zip fixed or buying new ones and then giving those jeans to recycling them so someone can use the material because it's really, really good material still. But anyway, these um, are Primark again, I'm sorry, but these are a pair of ripped jeans. I literally wear them everywhere. The rips didn't start off this big and now they are mahoosive but anyway i got a belt as well just from primark because it's difficult when you're on a budget but i literally will wear the belt until it breaks so it's not like i'm like i don't like that belt anymore and get a new one i bought that one recently because the other one actually started to come apart and then another one is normally i would only buy jeans from topshop that is because well, i've spoken about it before i find that trying to find somewhere that fits my waist my bum and the length of my legs is really tricky basically i've got a small waist i've got a bum and i've got long legs so it's quite difficult to find jeans and trousers that fit but Topshop have separate measurements for your waist and your legs so it always works well for me. I have my pair of Jonies. These aren't the ones that I dyed but in a previous video you can go and have a little look. I did dye another pair of my Jonies back to black because they were fading and there's nothing wrong with them just the colour so again we're saving money, we're keeping it eco, we are actually uh, I hope the dye is eco-friendly. Oh god. These are starting to do that thing where they um, elasticate at the booty. Can you see? Get a bit see-through on the old bum bum, but I uh, hope I won't have to get another pair of those because that's expensive. <laughs> but I've got those. I have a blue pair as well of the Jonies and I love them. So I think they're good. Always wearing those. So they are, like I say, a staple piece in my wardrobe. Next up, this is the play suit that I'm going to wear at the weekend. I'm going to wear it for my birthday. It's from Boohoo, but I've had it for years. It's so comfy. I love it. It's just a black play suit. It's a really nice stretchy fabric, but not that light curvy stretch. It's just like a nice material stretch. It's a long sleeve, so it's full, I think it's full length sleeve? Pretty much, nearly, ish. Three quarter length. I had to sew up a little bit in the, the V at the front. It's a wrap round, basically, it wraps over, but it was just so gapy, and like we've talked about before, I haven't got the boob to fill the area, so I had to put a little stitch in just to make sure that it was discreet. Um, it's a good length, it's nice and comfy. I wore like this chain belt with it last time, but I'm thinking I might wear this belt with it that I had for the jeans, so yeah, we'll see anyway. Check my socials for that. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, next I'm going to talk about this bodysuit. So this bodysuit, again, I talked about it in a previous haul, but I love it. I've worn it multiple times, nights out. It's just your standard lacy bodysuit. I wore it with the mum jeans that weren't the ripped ones before they broke. I've also worn it with the high-waisted jeans, the black pajonies. I mean, it's a little bit today. Well, I say that for me, it's not. But um, <laughs> your bra is quite often on show with it, but I feel... Like, it's fine, I don't really care. The next lot are kind of like summery stuff, but these are like what I was basically living in in summer, and a lot of the stuff is what I would wear busking as well, just comfy stuff. If you're busking, you need to be wearing comfy clothes because you're out all day in the wilderness. These I wouldn't wear out in public, these are what I wear around the house, but I have had them for years. I can't find a replacement, and to be honest with you, I don't know if I would want one, but I love these. Do you know what? When we were on holiday, I saw the girl who was in the little apartment next door to us. She had them, and I've never seen anyone else with them before, but they are new look. These are just a pair of shorts like this. They're super comfy. They are high-waisted. I tie at the waist. They basically sit like really nicely just under my bum. It's discreet. The material is like that kind of, not flannelly material, but I can't what is it? Viscose. But anyway, it's that kind of like flannelly type-esque material. Nice and comfy and it's good in the hot weather. I also wear these halter neck tops from Boohoo. <laughs> They're just a black and a, ugh, a black and a white halter neck top. You will have seen me wearing them while I was busking. They are so comfy. You just pop them on and it's nice in the summer because it's modest at the front. Party in the back. <laughs> so you've got your back out. Like they're just nice and comfortable. I wore a bikini top underneath the black one so that I could have it nice and low. My bra sits higher than this back does. Yeah, it was just nice. Perfect for summer. Perfect to put on top of bikinis or swimwear or anything like that. And if you're feeling hat they're really good. So I would pair that also with the mum jeans. I say summer, I just wore it today. I've also got a red one, but is this black, off the shoulder, again boohoo, full sleeved, cropped, a bit see-through actually. 
really but it's just a plain simple top i love it it suits my shape i feel comfortable in it I feel confident in it i always wear it and i have a red one as well which is a little bit more bold I feel like there's a little bit more bold nights and the bold moments but you know if you're feeling it you're feeling it, you know what I mean? And then these ones are like staple printed tees. This is my Barbados t-shirt. Now I love this t-shirt, but because I was so obsessed with Barbados when I came back from Barbados two years ago, obviously I got it there. I wore this t-shirt like all the time, non-stop. It wears medium, so I got it fairly kind of oversized so that I could tie it up in a little knot at the front, which is what I like to do with a baggy t-shirt. I've also got one of my dad's old t-shirts that he didn't wear anymore, and it's just a black t-shirt, and I can just tie it up at the front. Along the same theme, this is from Topshop. That one is from Woolworths in Barbados. <laughs> this pink t-shirt, I, again, I wore this busking. I always have to wear a top underneath it, though, like a crop top, because when I lift my hands up, you just see my bra. It is a cropped top it's got the sleeves kind of already folded slash rolled now up which i like with the stitch because i like to roll the old sleeve up it's just nice because it adds a bit of color as well as being comfortable and i like this pink against my skin tone i think it is quite nice wore that a lot in the summer another one that i wore a lot a lot a lot a lot in the summer you'll know this you'll recognize this place wear it in videos all the time and i still will wear it in videos but this is from femlux which was hashtag gifted and this is a crochet white gardo top off the shoulder full length sleeves you've got the little kind of what do you call it like tulip flower petal darling <laughs> why do i make myself laugh so much the problem with this one though is it's crocheted crocheted it's crocheted and it does stretch so when you wash it if you've got anything like this just try and shrink it because it will stretch again but it's pretty stretchy but i love it like again i wore that either with the mum jeans or with the ripped mum jeans like i've worn them quite a lot together as a combo and i love it but i have to wear like a little white bandeau top underneath because it is see-through see-through see through and then the last one that i'm going to talk about is a yellow bardo top from primark again primark but i wore it loads i think it was meant to be on the shoulder and then i put it off the shoulder this is a size six right at six to eight extra small but the front bit as you can see i've had to pull together and sew up here in this little like configuration so i've pulled it together and then pushed it back on itself and put it so that it's like a little bit of a feature at the front because it was too big on my shoulders but i don't know i've seen a few people have worn it off the shoulder again in the same way it's got a cute little elasticated waist again i lived in this top so you will know that i had my yellow obsession over the summer and i wore this like all the time that's everything really i just wanted to show you like some staple pieces in my wardrobe bits that i love i don't know if anyone's done this before i'm sure they have done a similar thing but i just wanted to show you like my anti-haul to show you some items that i love in my wardrobe if you like this kind of video then let me know would you have any of these pieces do you have any of these pieces in your wardrobe would you buy something similar to this what's your favorite piece in your wardrobe let me know let's talk about it and like i say this doesn't mean you can't buy clothes it doesn't mean you can't go on a haul it doesn't mean you can't post a haul if you do videos or anything like that here it's just something that we can start thinking about and start appreciating our wardrobe and i think just recently i kind of thought well what have i got in my wardrobe i've got events coming up in my head and i'm thinking what can i wear rather than what can i buy just to change our mindset and just be a little bit more environmentally aware as well thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you are new here and hit that notification bell on because i upload twice a week and if you don't want to miss out on an upload ah, God. please give this video a like if you liked it and would like to see more videos like this in the future and i will see you in the next one bye